Hello everybody, Hog Talks Prison here. Last night I was talking to my neighbor, one of my neighbors, and he says, man, what is the wildest thing you've seen in prison? I didn't actually see this, but I heard about it from people involved, and it, it's just crazy. When I was in Farmington, there was this guy that came in, a young guy, and uh, he, he walked around like he didn't even know where he was at. You know what I mean? He, like he didn't realize he was in a prison. And uh, he didn't walk with a tough act or nothing like that. He just walked like oblivious to what was going on. You know, where he was at. And before I go any farther, they used to sell Vaseline in the commissary. Just like they used to sell baby oil. They stopped. I think they stopped on the Vaseline. I know they stopped on the baby oil. And that was because of people putting it in water and boiling it and, you know, throwing it. <laughs> but anyway, which is terrible. Anyway, one day, it was in the evening, you know, they let us out at 6 o'clock. And you can visit, in Farmington, you can visit other cells. You can have up to five people in the cell, you know, you just kicking it with your friends. Five people in a cell is kind of crowded. But sometimes it would be more. You'd see it packed in there. You know, this people just keep coming in. But anyway, this young guy goes into a cell with a bunch of guys that he knew them, you know, and everything. But anyway, they get to talking and but different things that happen. They're trying to school him on prison. Man, you're in prison, dude. And uh, he goes, I know I am. And they said, well, you, you're not acting like it, you know. And one of them says, you know, you could be a, like taken, you know, your manhood taken. He goes, that's not going to happen to me. Well, there was like four of them in there. Besides him, they held him down, depanced him, and one of them took some Vaseline, and uh, according to them and, and him, it didn't, you know, it was just inside the cracks, you know. But anyway, I'm out there playing spades with my. Sully and a couple other people. He comes out, runs over to his cell. He, you could tell he's mad. He's pissed. Runs over to his cell. He's over there in the cell for a while. And then he goes right back over there and uh, talks to him for a little while. Well, comes back out and he's, I mean, he, his whole attitude's different. His head's hung and, and everything. And uh, my cellie says, hey, man, come here. He goes, what happened? So he, he tells the story. I don't think I would have told that. And uh, at the end, he says, I, I went back over and told him, he said, well, I guess, I guess it could happen to me, but I don't want it to happen to me. But nobody wants it to happen to him, you know? So, I, Kevin... Marcel, he says, did that really happen? And he goes, yeah. So we had to talk to them, you know. Because this is just, I can't believe they did that. So a couple of them, you know, and asked them about it, and they said, yeah, we did that, you know, and we're just trying to give him a wake-up call, you know. That's all we're trying to do. And, uh, I said, man, you could have just talked to him. They said, we tried. And uh, so we talked to her, her face was blue, you know. And we don't want nothing to really happen to him. We just did this. I said, what's one of you guys that actually did that? You know, actually took the vest. 
because I was kind of curious, you know. And uh, the, the one guy, he said he did it, you know. He said, man, I didn't get any jo enjoyment out of that. You sure? Because, I mean, that just seems like you guys went to the extremes, you know. But anyway, well, I wanted to tell you guys, when you guys come to prison, it, it, I hope nobody goes to prison. I really don't. But if you're going to prison, you're on your way, just realize that you're in a prison, you know. Now, I was in prison 29 years, and to me, like, Farmington is, is soft compared to MSP, you know. But things, it doesn't matter what prison you're in. It can be a, one of the ones that we used to call like a kitty camp. Things can happen. It's, it's, it's prison. Anything can happen at any time. So you got to keep that in mind and not be oblivious. You also don't want to go in there, you know, putting on a tough act, you know, like, unless you really are, you know. Some people go in there, they're not acting tough, they really are tough. But some people go in there, won't have no tattoos on them, and it ain't no time they have, they're covered in tattoos, walking around with chest stuck out and their arms swinging, you know. Don't be doing that, you know. Some people, not all, some people will join an organization, you know, and then think they can just walk around and do anything, you know. Can't do that either. But anyway, when he said, that's the first time I had anybody ask me what was the wildest thing. And I'm not sure if you could say that was the wildest thing. It was just, I've never heard of that before. You know, that was just something completely different. I've always get questions like, what was the worst thing you saw in prison? Uh, what was the worst person you saw in pr prison, you know? And the, the baddest person you saw in prison. But that was the first time what was the wildest thing. And that was the only thing I could think of. I thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye. Search but you stay lost We are